Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. So if you read the title, you will see I am doing a product review of my portable washer and spin dryer. So basically, I used to live in a trailer and I ended up moving back into an apartment. In this apartment, we don't have a washer and dryer. I had one over there, I don't have one here. But I found out that they do now. I don't know why I didn't think about this because I feel like it is 2018. We should have these things, portable washers and dryers. So it made sense once I was able to find that it is a thing. Um, and I got one. Okay, so the brand that I got is called Cuppet. K-U-P-P-E-T. It was $76.99 off of Amazon. So hopefully that focuses and you can read that. Um, they do come in this color blue, like the aqua blue. Obviously, I got the aqua one because I love aqua. Um, and I know they have purple. So you can get colors, actually. This is actually so dope. But I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do this. Um, and how it works because I already had questions about it. And I'm excited because this is like a really cool thing and it's very handy. Basically, this is it it with it down it looks kind of small but it's kind of not I mean this is a regular size you know laundry basket and it's basically you know the same height and width almost um, it has a wash timer so you actually can spin this it can go for three minutes six nine twelve fifteen uh, the standard a soft I don't know what that is yet actually um, I was trying to look it up in the little instructions it gave me and it actually didn't even say anything about it um, and then it has the drain button and then the spin timer so I already have water in here um, a lot of these a lot of the newer ones like the more expensive ones come with a thing mine has one so you actually it has this extra little whatever you want to call it spout <laughs> oh, that's what I'll call it. So you're going to put that there tightly. And then this part is where you would put underneath the water and it can fill up that way. Um, to me, that takes way too long. And like I said, the other ones, they have some that actually has a spigot on the sink to where you can um, just put it on the sink and not have to worry about filling it up the way that I do with this big, huge pot. <laughs> um, it also has this drain part right here. And if you get the same one that I have, don't cut this off. If you can see, yeah, this. Do not cut that off because this is what holds it onto the thing. So if you accidentally have the drain on, it will not come out. And I always put it back after I'm done using it. Um, so, yeah, I am going to show you basically. I actually love this because you can see through it and you can see what's going on. But I am going to show you basically how many clothes I can put in here. I'm going to put a couple of shirts. I got my little laundry bags. I think all of these are like regular size t-shirts. Just like regular tees. Um, oh yeah, I got to get the detergent. Durr. I got to go do that. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of this in here. Oh, pizza's done. Oh. This is about how much detergent. I'm gonna put in here so not really a lot a lot but it's enough trust me it's enough so let's drill that in there now normally I would add a little bit more water just so the water can like mix it all together and make it foamy so I'm gonna do that in just a sec All right, so I'm gonna take a few shirts. So here's one shirt. Kind of submerge that up in there a little bit. Okay, whatever. And here's another shirt. So this is three, um, four, five. Oh, I got a lot of t-shirts. Six. These are mainly t-shirts that I just like wear to bed or throw on just around the house. Seven. 
eight. Okay, so it's about eight shirts. You can kind of see it on the side down here. Um, I say we could do another one. Nine. Oh, cool, tank top. So let's do a tank top. All right, so that's basically 10, 11 things in there that you can fit in here. Um, it doesn't seem like a lot when, you know, you're used to an actual washer being able to throw a whole entire load in there. But for this to have in an apartment, you know, this, it, it really works. So, I honestly set this on about nine. Whenever you start this, whenever you are spinning it, make sure, oh no, whenever you start it, make sure it's not on drain. Like I said, it won't come out as long as you have the little thing up here, you know, hooked. It won't come out. Um, but just make sure it's on standard. So let's turn it to, I'll say 12. So as you can see, it is spinning. And it spins around and it like flips it and stuff. It's pretty cool. And as you can hear, it's really not that loud. All you hear mainly is the timer, I think. It's washing, y'all. That's washing. That's so gross, though. I'm, like, showing you guys, and then the water's getting dirty. Like, ugh. But at least you know, like, it's getting clean, though. Like, it's getting clean. I can monitor this. I can have it washed two and three times if I want to, you know? I don't have to just have it on for 12 minutes. If I want to let it sit and then spin it again, you can um, rinse it. That's one thing I know a lot of people forget to do with these. Because when I first got it, I actually forgot to do that. Um, once you wash it and you let however long go and you wash it, you have to rinse your clothes just like a regular washer. So you have to pour water back into it with the clothes still in there. Just don't put the detergent. Let it spin for like six minutes. You know, it honestly really, this thing does not take that long. And even though it seems like, oh, it's a small load, it goes so fast. Like you can get laundry done so much faster. So I almost feel like I need more detergent. I almost feel like that almost wasn't enough. And especially because I didn't pour water in it the second time, a lot of it to really make it soapy. Um, you can also open it while it's going. I don't like to because, you know, see, it is splashing and whatnot, but you can. If you open this while it's going, it's going to automatically stop, which is a good thing. So, yeah, well, I'm going to let this wash and I'll come back and show you guys how I rinse it and spin it. Okay, so I'm actually going to add a little bit more detergent because it doesn't look as soapy as I like it because I'm picky. Um, and I just am able to stop it so if you need to stop it and do something like this or add another shirt if you think you can fit more clothes all you got to do is twist it back to zero and it automatically stops um let's lift that up that is crazy that looks so gross oh my god this water is gross <laughs> i feel like people are gonna think i'm disgusting and then you can just start it again so i'll just leave it like right there there we go there's the soap there we go this thing is really cool, you guys. Like, it's really, really cool. All right, you guys. So, it is done. And I actually had to go twice. So, you see the water is, like, pretty dirty. I had to um, I had to go twice because, you know, I was eating my pizza. Pizza was ready. Um, so, yeah. These are basically going to be soaking wet when you put it in here. And I'll show you. But first, I got to drain that out because that's dirty water and we don't like that. You can use a five-gallon bucket, a big old pot like I got. Or um, if you have, if you get one of like the more expensive ones, um, you can, I think their drain thing is longer so you can just have it right in the sink, but mine's not. So I kind of have to have it on the floor, which kind of sucks because I thought it was going to be a little longer and it's not. I'm going to put this thing in here and turn it, the drain on. I can't do this with two hands. Ugh. All right. So then the water is going to just start going in here like this. And it's going to fill up. All right, so basically, you see that the water is kind of going down. Clothes are sitting at the top. Now, since this is short and it's kind of hard for it to really get all the water out, I actually am going to have to lift this up and put it on this chair. And this thing is nine pounds, so it's not that heavy. Um, but with water in it, it is a little bit more heavier, so probably like 20 pounds but that's still not that bad to where you feel like it might be doing too much 
All right, so I'm going to turn that off and lift this up and drain that out. All right, so I don't have a stand to put this thing on. So, so far, I'm just putting it on this chair and it's working. Um, so you basically just let it drain out in the pot like that. And then um, I am going to rinse the clothes. Okay, so once you drain it all out, you're going to refill it up if you do decide to rinse it. Um, I don't really know how important that is, but I feel like since you... Since a regular washer rinses them, I feel like you should rinse it. Um, so you just fill it up with water, no detergent, turn it on, and let it do its thing. Or, nah, I'll just do like six minutes. It's just rinsing. It's not really washing. So it's going to spin. It's going to do all its little tricks. And then I will show you how to spin it. All right, you guys, for the most exciting part ever. Everybody wants to know how this part works. So these are soaking wet right now, as you can tell. And they're all in, entwined within each other. Oh no, there was a bounce in there. Oh well. So, these are all soaking wet. Um, basically, you want to be careful of... It has this little groove in here. So you kind of have some... Uh, a little bit of a leeway. If water gets right here, at least it'll hold right here and drain in here. And it won't come out. I do like that about this. Some people... Um, with the more expensive ones I know it's just all flat around and people say they have to put towels down um, but this one actually you don't have to because you can just literally move it over from one side to the other um, I know some of these they say however much you put in here you can put in here with this one you cannot do that um, I tried and it gives you when you get the thing when you get the thing when you get the washer, it also gives you this thing to put on top. And you want to make sure that all your clothes, that this basically fits in here and all your clothes are in there. Um, if you have like thicker clothes, it might be a little bit harder um, to put more things in there because it's really, it's really, really thick. So you just kind of have to be careful and just kind of do it one by one and see what you can get in there. Um, that might be good because that's like at the top. So make sure you always put this on here because this like holds it. There we go. It basically holds it so it can spin in place. So I'm going to close this. Make sure you always have your drain off before starting this, just so it doesn't get anywhere. Um, and then we're going to spin it. Spin it. Now, when you spin it, I will say it gets shaky um, at first, depending on how thick the clothing is or whatever it is that you're washing. Obviously, if you wash like socks underwears undershirts undergarments those kinds of things it's not going to spin as crazy but i put a towel in here which i will demonstrate a towel i did put a towel in here and it's been a little bit crazier so i normally just hold it spin it like right there just kind of hold it and then it kind of calms down a little bit now the spinner to me is a little bit loud but you don't have to use it for that long. So. Spin, spin, spin. So you can kind of see that the water is like getting on this side and kind of filling up this side um, where the spinner's at. This honestly might be good enough. It was only on here for like a couple of seconds. But I like to put it on longer because I think the longer you spin it, the more dry it gets. Depending on what clothing it is still. But that's what I think. So, yeah, the spinner side is a little bit louder with this one. I don't know if all of them are, are like that. Like I said, I got this because I just like that you can see through it. You know, it's my color and it's cute. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to turn that off. I'll open this up. See, it stops automatically. Now, you guys seen that all that stuff was soaking wet. It basically comes out like dry. Like this is nowhere near wet anymore. Like it's, everyone says you probably can hang it up for a couple of um, like 30 minutes maybe to an hour and it'll be dry and it's very true. Um, these aren't soaking, nothing's dripping. It's literally just a shirt. Like it's literally a shirt. It is damped. Like all of it's just really lightly damped. Um, all of these are like really old shirts from like high school, <laughs> but this is just damped. So if you have a drying rack, that'll help. I didn't get one of those cause I just put them on hangers and hang them up in my closet and let them hang dry. That's what I do. Um, you can put them outside in the hanger if you want, you can do that. 
So basically, all of these are like soak, like we're soaking wet, and they're not even that like wet anymore. Like they're literally almost dry. You just have to hang dry them. So yeah, and then when you're done with the spinner, I just put it in there. But I'm actually not done because I still have more clothes to um, spin dry. So actually, I'll just take all these, put these in here, literally soaking wet, all soaked. Like it's, you can see the water. You literally can see the water soaked and then we're gonna put that in there oh there was another bounce in there dang it all right put that on top spin it probably hold it there we go yeah you always gotta hold it because once it gets going you know i'm gonna help it out a little bit so we're gonna spin dry that real quick and I'm gonna get some hangers for these and put these on some hangers and put them in my closet. All right, you guys, so I put a towel in here. Now you can probably fit like two or three towels in here. This is a pretty thick, thick towel, as you can see. So I'm gonna wash this and then I'll put it in the spin dryer and show you how dry the towels get because it's like freaking crazy. I think you guys are gonna love it. Yeah, we'll just do six minutes. That should be all right. Look at that. Look at it. All right, you guys. So I washed this towel. As you can see, it is soaking wet. And I rinsed it off. So I'm going to put it in here. Just kind of make sure you keep it over the ledge. Um, so we're going to put that in there. Put our little cap, whatever my jig. Spin this, and I will show you how dry this is. But see, and it always quiets down, so you're like good for like the first couple of seconds. That's when it acts up because it's getting itself together, and then it'll straighten out and it'll quiet down. And then the water is coming down there. So I love the fact that I can look at this. I feel like I've said that five times already, but I just like seeing it. <laughs> All right, that's good enough. Turn that off. All right. Are you guys ready to see this dry towel basically oh my god this towel is completely like not even soaking it literally is just damped like you could even use this while getting out of the shower it might feel a little weird because you know it's not like a warm towel but it's not even dripping anymore it's literally back fluffy um it's just damped so honestly i just fold it in half and i put it on a hanger and I hang it up in a closet and I just let everything dry and you got clean clothes and clean towels and clean linen. I hope this video wasn't too long, but this is my thorough description version of a product review. Um, like I said, you can get this on Amazon. You can get a whole bunch of other ones on Amazon. It's your preference. Um, I got this because I already told you guys why I got this. My favorite color. I love it. Um, and it's better than nothing and then you can at least clean stuff like I need to at least clean stuff I can't not wait for somebody to get their stuff out downstairs and not be able to wash what I need to wash It's just so it's very convenient to have it and I know I'm gonna save a lot of money in the long run That is it for this video you guys make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button I am gonna be doing more product reviews thoroughly describing and really let you guys know the deal with the ins and outs um i give this product a eight out of ten um i down two stars on it only because i think the drain spout needs to be longer and they should have an attachable thing where you can plug it up to the sink like a lot of the other ones do but that's probably why they're more expensive um and it just kind of shakes a little bit too loud when you put thick stuff in the spinner so that is why i give it two stars down but overall, it's really, really dope. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, you have to clean this lint thingy out. So I'll zoom in a little bit. As you can see, there's lint in there. It looks kind of gross. But you should be able to just lift it out and then clean it that way. But it's not that bad right now, so I'll do that later. I did want to show you guys that, so everybody knows what's going on. But like I said, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one. Peace out.